Hello and welcome to another episode of Rate My Cigar. So tonight we're doing uh, one of our general health videos again. Uh, I am Geo69 yet again. Uh, I was in Japan three years ago but not into cigars yet. I'm going back in November. How are the price of Cubans over there compared to the EU and when is the Switzerland trip I want to go to? <laughs> so Japan, uh, I absolutely love Japan. Um, I hadn't been until sort of like the end of last year. Mm. Um, and somewhere I want to go anyway. I've now been twice in seven months because I've literally loved it that much. Now. My friend who lives over there, well, I've got a couple of guys who I know who live over there, and um, both are into cigars. Now, I've visited a few cigar bars over there, and the prices, to be honest, are really good. Um, certain things, like for instance, some Cohiba, like Cohiba Robustos, uh, in a cigar bar, which I know of there, work out at about 32 quid, I think it is. Really? So it's actually really good like keenly priced yeah oh, um, interesting i've picked up a few sticks actually from that cigar bar and interesting i had a load of age stuff as well which is quite cool um but yeah the price of cubans is really good um certain cigars like some trinidads and stuff weren't amazingly priced but again still still cheap compared to the eu in my opinion um as you know like japan as a whole is like a very smoking like heavy culture um, so yeah, I'm guessing they get through quite a lot of cigars, but yeah, mm. definitely, if you're going to go back, definitely go to a couple of cigar bars mm. and let us know as well, whereabouts did you go in Japan? I was going to say, I'm where, did, to where did you go? Uh, where didn't I go? Okay, literally. so the airport you landed in was? I, I landed in Kansai Airport, which is, okay. uh, and we basically did, my friend came and picked me up, he lives in Takamatsu, and um, basically he drove up to Kansai Airport, and we then did a trip all the way around the edge of Japan, basically, and went to so many different cities and like towns and stuff. It was okay. just absolutely amazing. Like, cool. really was amazing. So yeah, let us know where you went as well, uh, and if you want any pointers on the next trip, also let me know because I've visited a lot of places over there. Do you know what? I just had an idea. Go on. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> When's your next trip to Switzerland? I want to go too. Right, we're going to be doing this later in the year. If you're up for actually, if any of the viewers want to do it, who wants to go on a trip to to Switzerland and whatever, um, obviously, um, I don't know how to do that. Drop us an email and we'll liaise with you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, if I was maybe, for a maybe, smoke, maybe, yeah. maybe, um, maybe if like three or four viewers want to do a, a couple of days with uh, going to some lounges and smoking some cigars yeah. with us. Why not? Drop us a message. Yeah, sweet, definitely, yeah. We'll put an email address in the uh, in the comment section, well, sorry, in the description below. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, mm. uh, I'm Joe, if you're, if you're watching this as well, pop us an email and uh, we'll have a chat, definitely. Mm. That'd be cool. Um, and again, same okay. same again. Uh, so, same video again uh, from <coughs> I'm Joe. When are you doing a review on the Paul Ranger Leones? Okay, we will do the review on those on our next Cuban review. Okay, cool. All right. I have got two sat there waiting. Oh, nice. Okay, That's sweet. And I will smoke them by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love Darren's generosity. <laughs> um, no, I've got a couple there. So we we'll do those next Cuban. We do. We we'll do that because I've never actually had one of them, um, and there's a lot of people like them. Okay, cool. Um, same video again, part seven cigar half. This is from Albo, and he says, suggestion. Uh, how about some reviews of budget UK only brands like Chinchillero, uh, Latin Victor, Charitan, etc. Not something you will get on non UK cigar channels. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can look into that. Um, I mean, I personally actually started smoking. Well, well, when I first started smoking, I actually used to really like the uh, Latin Victor shorts. Um, I'd be interested. I've actually still got a couple in my humidor, I think. Is that from, a good from or all bad those years thing? ago. I don't know, I haven't tried them in so long. They were like, um, it, was, it was a long time ago. But I tell, I actually, I tell, they were one of the first little cigars. I was like, oh, I really like these. So I actually bought quite a few of them. I'll tell you what I did do. I went on to a website when I first started doing this channel and I bought some cigars from, they were very, very cheap um, cigars. And I had one of them and it was just shockingly bad. And it put me off buying the cheap cigars. Really? Yeah. But I think maybe we should do a couple at least. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm up for that. That's cool. Yeah. We'll have a look tonight and see if we can find uh, what's for sale and stuff and we'll see if we can get some on order. Um, 
same video again. Uh, this is from Robbo again. Uh, Spain don't have cigar shops. They are state-run tobacconists, and they all seem to stock different brands. One I go to in Torre Vieja is always saying he finds it hard to get Cubans. He generally only has Partagas. That's quite strange because, like, right, okay. I, from my experience of going into Spain, I to be honest, the shops I thought were actually pretty well stocked. Like, I don't know. Obviously, it depends on when you went, I suppose. But like. But last time I went, uh, when we'd done our little trip, like uh, I thought the shops were pretty good to be honest. I mean, there was like quite a variety of pretty much the everything. Pro the problem is, the problem is, what happens is, is you've got the the importer that imports them from Cuba into Spain. Now that importer is in, has orders from all the shops. Now that shop will put in an order, and from what I've seen, I've seen an order form. That will go to the uh, will go to the the retail sorry the the company that brings it in that's directly from Cuba. Now it's an A4 piece of paper. On there is all the types there, and on that list is what they mark what they want on it. Well, that goes to them, and they get a list back what is going to arrive the next day, and it says what they are going to have. So it's up to the retailer what the shop gets. Oh, okay. Into the extent, if they said yes to everything, it's up to the retailer. If the shop said, I only want part of gas, D4 and Epi2 and nothing else, if the retailer looked at that and went, okay, they only want two cigars, we got those yet, they can have them, they want everything, they're gonna get what they get. And I think you find that's what happens. I could be wrong. That's just my opinion, my guessing. But from when I spoke to a, one of the scar own, shop owners, he said that he asks for everything, every single opportunity he gets, and he gets given what he's given. Okay. And I've had that from two different guys from two different shops, hundreds of miles apart, that don't know each other. Yep. So there's got to be something there that reigns true. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, on to the next question. Same thing again. Now, this is a very tricky question. Uh, this is from Frugal Frostbite, which again is another name I recognise, so thank you for commenting again. Um, what is your favourite Robusto? Oh, that is a broad question. <laughs> That's easy. Is it? Yeah, I know yours as well. Go on. Well, would you, would you class the um, Connoisseur A as a Robusto? Uh, don't, don't think so, are they? Quite a large, isn't it? Okay, if they're a Toro, if they're, if they're not a Robusto, that's Chuck's favourite and that's mine. <laughs> if it is the case they are, um, what else would it be? Um, I would probably say. Um, I see, this is like. The reason I say it's a broad question is because it massively depends on what type of mood I'm in. Like, don't be wrong, I've got a range of like what I think are my roughly favourite cigars, but like some days I fancy something stronger, sometimes I fancy something lighter, like, it is a tough question. It is a tough question indeed. Do you know what, thinking about it, if I had to go for one, I'm pretty sure these robusto, they look robusto size. Spanish regional? Spanish Diplo regional, yeah. yeah. Probably, that's, that's definitely probably up there. Um. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's, it's challenging. I mean like, new world wise, if I actually look, somebody, uh, somebody Fuente range, I would definitely go to. See, the things um, I don't, I don't keep many robustos. Yeah. Um, but the robustos I've got is the Choice Supreme. Mhm. Mm um, they're good. They're very good. I don't have any D fours that, for myself. Um, no, I know I've got a couple. I think. Um, if I had to, to I, I'd be between, like, for an, oh, for an everyday... Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know. My favourite Robusto. Um, it's actually the um, Cohiba Robusto. Cohiba Robusto? Really? Yeah. When, when I've, got, I've, I've got some in there that I've got, like, three, four years on them, and they're actually pretty good. Pretty it, good. Now, it's funny, because we're normally pretty aligned with, like, stuff like that, but I have to say, I wasn't keen on them. I actually wasn't too fussed on Cohiba Robustos. Yeah. But some people love them, some people hate them. For me, I thought they were like, yeah, it's alright, but I've had better. Like, yeah, I think they're, they're very expensive for, for what they good, are. For what they are, they're they too are. expensive. Yeah, for sure. Um, but if, just... if I had to go like, if I had to go New World, I would be into either the Opus X range or maybe like the Davidoff Anniversary or Special R, something like that. Like, I mean, like for a cheaper Robusto, I think they're definitely up there. 
Um, if I was going Cuban, probably Choice Supreme. Um... Do you know what the problem you've got? Go on. You know you've got the H. Upman Robusto. Yep. And the, and the Hoyo de Monterey Robusto. Mm -hmm. We've never had those. Yeah, true. So, really, we've just, we, ha we, don't, we don't have many Robustos. We're not Robusto smokers, yeah. really. I tend to smoke, yeah, I tend to smoke larger cigars now, or like... If you, if you ask the questions, Toros, I can list off loads of stuff that's Toro size. Yeah. Like it would be the Connoisseur A, the Connoisseur B. Um, you'd have the, I mean, Epi 2 is more of a, it's bigger than a Robusto, isn't it? About roughly the same, yeah. Is it a Robusto? Yeah, about that. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough question. That is a tough one. Mm. Out of curiosity, what is your favourite Robusto? If, if, you, if you watch this video, pop us a comment on, mm. on, on our, this video, which we're putting up now. Pop us a comment on it and tell us what your favourite Robusto is. So that's to f frugal frostbite. I'd be, I would be interested to hear. Because like I say, it depends if you just like, if you mainly smoke Cubans, if you mainly smoke New Worlds, uh, if, like, if you want a lighter cigar, a darker cigar. Mm. Like, yeah, it is a bit of a broad question, but yeah. I've got a few which I put up there. Like, <clears throat> I think the Diplo Spanish would be my ultimate go-to. I think if I had to choose, but I tend not to smoke them all the time because I know I haven't got that many of them. Um, so on to the next one. Uh, this is on the Partagas Lusitanius Cubans. Uh, this is from Reginald Farnsworth. Uh, it says, age and five years and you experience a much more nuanced and delightful mm -hmm. cigar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm pretty certain the Lusitanius, didn't you have some age ones? I could have sworn you did a while ago. No? Okay, maybe I'm thinking of it. Not those I haven't. Um, You've got one. Yeah, I know. I've, I've got 20, two. It's a 2023. 2023 you've got. Um, so it's not... Do you know what, I might just leave it for a while and see, see how it goes. Um, I, I liked the Lusitanius because it was a big cigar. Um, the flavours were, were good, but if that has some age in it and stuff, it probably would it'd be a much better cigar. Yeah, for sure. Um, it was it was a medium to full body, if I remember rightly. Yeah. There's a lot of earth in that. Um, Quite a bit of spice, um, yeah. Um, so next one, uh, Cuaba de Vinos. Now that was a great little cigar. Uh, again from Frugal Frostbite. Um, I have one of these in my humidor. I've been resting for six months before I try. Oh, that I am sorry. Uh, I've been told they're up there with Bolivar or the Ramon Lones strength profile, so completely up my street. Great video, although the clicking of what sounds like a mouse and keyboard and the other office. Uh. Uh, like sounds was a little off-putting so yeah sorry for that um again we're learning all the time sometimes uh another person now it's to go on a computer and tap away so yeah i'll make sure i don't do it in the future um yeah uh i really like the crab range um the Venus, i thought were really good cigars i have to got some five-year-old aged salamons nice sat in my humidor and i don't See, know whether I'd, i don't think they're on the strength profile of bolivar personally the Bolivar, um, Bolivar are like a really bold Cuban, um, and like what are those Bolivars I've got in there? Those, you've seen the Bolivars in there, haven't you? you what the gold, the gold, not the gold medals, the other ones. There's a no. bo box in there. It's on top of the white box. Oh, I can see it from here. Yeah. What are they called? I have absolutely no idea. L something. L D C D H one. I'll, I'll look now. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't. They're, they're a very, very good cigar. They are a bolder Cuban for sure, uh, but I don't think they're quite Bolivar strength. Uh, the Ramon Lones, now, Ramon Lones profiles, uh, I think are a bit on the lighter side. Uh, they're not like super, super strong, um, but yeah, like Cuaba, the Cuaba and the Ramon Lones, I think are fairly on par, uh, but may, maybe not Bolivar, but yeah. Um, Def if you yeah if you can wait to get a bit more age on it then obviously do it uh, but even so like I say if you can pick up some more just go for it and then just age some more I mean they're, they're a really nice stick the thing with Cuaba is like I find they've got a very individual flavour profile to them like it's not they don't really taste like other Cubans like they're, they're very sort of distinct oh Libertador I've got a box of those ah nice they're supposed to be a very strong cigar Okay. But very good. We do it. Most of Bolivar stuff, so that's yeah. a bit sort of like kick you in the face, Cuban. <laughs> yeah, but we will be doing that, opening that box on the channel as well at some point. Nice. Oh, God, I've broken it again. It's technical, isn't it? It's extremely technical, yeah. So the next comment is. Uh, 
There we go. Uh, next one's on the cheapest non-Cuban cigar I could find review uh, from Mandela House. Great video, guys. Very amusing. By the way, the posters on the wall behind you need straightening. <laughs> that was the one from last time we've done the we've done this one already on the last video. I know we have. Um, and just to answer that again, um, yes, you're right. They do. Um, and I said to Chuck earlier on this evening, we need to straighten these pictures. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, that's the end of the comments. Uh, well, the end of the new comments anyway. Uh, like I say, we we'll try and keep up with them uh, every week or every two weeks max. So yeah, just yeah, keep an eye. Basically, the video will either be on the week or on the two week mark. So yeah, pretty much uh, every, every one or two weeks. So obviously, thank you very much for all your comments. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, even the negative comments, I mean like John, anything, uh, we'll take on board anything anyone says. Um, at the end of the day, we're still very new at doing this. We haven't been doing it a mass amount of time. Like the stuff is still under a year mark on the channel, realistically. So like we're learning all the time. Um, like I say, unfortunately you get some stupid comments, but on the whole, most of you guys are absolutely awesome. So obviously we couldn't thank you more. Uh, so if you agree with what we said in this video, disagree with it, stick a comment in the box below. Um, have a chat with us about it. Anything you put in, I say, we'll go through it on the next video we do. So yeah, it'd be interesting to hear your comments. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't done already, obviously please give us a like and subscribe. And we shall see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.